Hi, welcome to Checking In at SEA. My name is Perry Cooper here and we're talking about National Gun Violence Awareness Week. And with us today is our Commissioner of Port of Seattle is Stephanie Bowman. Stephanie, this is a very important issue from your standpoint. Can you tell us what your connection is to this issue? Sure, this has been a really personal issue for me for many, many years when I was uh, 21 years old. I had a boyfriend who uh, passed away from a self-inflicted gun wound. And so for me, over the years, I really wanted to uh, draw more awareness to gun violence and gun safety. Um, really, when you think about it, this is a preventable uh, death and preventable injuries for everybody. And so this is the week where we can draw attention to it and get people to really pay attention about the things that we can do moving forward. And this is something we run into every once in a while here at the airport because mm -hmm. guns obviously are not something that you want to mix with the airport yeah. from a security standpoint. What are some of the things that you want people to get out of this idea when we're talking about an awareness week for the entire country? We're talking specifically about uh, SEA here in the airport. There's some things for people need to be uh, paying attention to, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the number one thing is that gun violence is preventable. And so by safe storage is one of the number one thing ways to prevent gun violence. And so here at the airport in particular, we want to make sure that when passengers show up, they have their firearms in safely stored. Um, number one, to protect our passengers and our employees at the airport, and it also helps facilitate travel to go a little bit quicker through the airport, but it really co does come down to safety at the end of the day. We don't want anybody unnecessarily injured here. And that's just really what we, that's a number one priority overall mm -hmm. for the airport is safety to begin with. As the commission, that's something you guys have always kept a close eye on for how we're doing not only maritime, but also here at the airport, correct? Yeah, well, we have, you know, on an average day, 50,000 passengers coming through SeaTac right now. And so you can imagine if somebody comes through with a firearm that is not properly stored, it will really shut down our operations. And again, the most important thing is making sure that it is stored safely. We want to protect all of our passengers and employees here. I really appreciate that there is the Gun Violence Awareness Week. It's uh, The official day is June 4th, but it's the first week in June. Um, the tagline is wear orange, which is why I'm wearing orange today, <laughs> to highlight that for the public. Um, we really, again, want people to know that this is a preventable uh, injuries, preventable deaths, and this is one way to start. Again, Port of Seattle Commissioner Stephanie Bowen, we appreciate your time. Thanks. We're going to talk a little bit more about this, not only from our Port of Seattle Police standpoint, but also from the TSA. As we're talking about security checkpoints, we want to bring in with us our one of our commanders for the Port of Seattle Police, Tom Bailey. Thanks for joining us. Of course. We're talking about Gun Safety Awareness Week. What is the situation from a Port of Seattle Police standpoint when you're dealing with the potential of a gun going through a security checkpoint? How does the Port Police become involved in that situation? Yeah, so that's a good question, Perry. Um, you know, it's real important that if you're traveling with a gun through the airport, uh, that you let the airlines know uh, that you're planning on doing that, that you secure it, you lock it up. Mm -hmm. But it's also really important that um, you don't inadvertently take the gun across through the checkpoint in a carry-on bag. Um, you know, we do see that occasionally throughout the year. Uh, someone that has a gun in their, in their carry-on bag and, and they're stopped, the police are called, uh, and really they're, they're subject to, to criminal and civil penalties um, through the state and through, through TSA. Carrying a firearm is a, is a big responsibility. You need to know what's in your carry-on bag when you're traveling. Make sure you don't have a gun, you can't have firearm parts, and you can't have any ammunition in your carry-on. And typically that's usually what we run into when you have this situation, right? It's someone may have had a bag in their car at the time and they grab it at the last minute or at home, don't realize it's there and suddenly now it shows up obviously within the x-ray machines here at the checkpoint that's when you see the situation yeah that's right uh you know, i think that that's usually how that that happens and uh we just want to remind people to make sure you know what's in your bag make sure you don't have any firearms or, or firearm parts in your bag and um, for the people that aren't you know hopefully it's reassuring for the people that do responsibly carry the firearms and and for the people that are just traveling to know that it is something that uh, the Port of Seattle Police Department and uh, TSA both take very seriously. And that's a, another good point as well too. This is not necessarily something we're bringing up because it's happening all the time. We're bringing it up to emphasize the safety situation so this doesn't happen and we make sure that no incidents occur because of it. We haven't seen those kinds of things here in the past from an incident standpoint. Uh, we want to make sure it's that double emphasis to people. Don't bring that situation here to a federal uh, transportation facility. Yeah, that's right. As a, as a PD, you know, that's our number one priority is just the safety of the traveling public and our stakeholders. And uh, that's just one point on which we would ask the public's help. Okay, excellent. We appreciate your time, Commander. 
and we'll also check in with the TSA for a little bit more detail on what you should do as you pack your firearm. So the folks that are on the front lines of this issue are those with the TSA at the security checkpoints. With us right now is Lori Dankers, who's with the TSA. You're going to help us get through the part of this issue of what we're actually seeing. How frequent is this happening at SEA? Yeah, unfortunately, we have seen 34 firearms come to the security checkpoint and travelers carry on luggage so far this year. This is the most that we've seen at this point in the year, uh, historically at SeaTac, and we're really hoping to reverse that trend. Okay, and you are also here. You've got uh, stuff here on a table. It's gonna help us out to understand what do you do and you can properly pack a firearm. Number one, you can do it. It's proper, you can, if you do it right, you can do it. And we want to learn how this is going to, how this is going to work. Absolutely. There is a process by which you can transport your firearm on a commercial aircraft. And the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your firearm is completely unloaded. You want to remove the magazine, just have the firearm itself and place it in a hard sided case. These cases can be bought at a sporting goods store. They're relatively inexpensive. We recommend the type with the styrofoam cutout so that the firearm doesn't jostle around just for the safety of other travelers as well as for the, the wherewithal of your gun. The second thing is you want to make sure that magazine is unloaded. Take all the ammunition out of there, place that in the case as well. And then if you're traveling with ammunition, that needs to be returned to its original packaging and placed in here. And you will also store this in the case while you're traveling uh, on the commercial aircraft. We like to have all of that self-contained in a single case. The next thing you're going to do is you're just going to close the case and you're going to lock it up. So. We do not recommend using TSA approved locks. And the reason for that is because we don't want anyone to have access to the firearm except for the owner of the firearm. And so that's why we recommend this type of lock. We also recommend that you use both spots for the lock. If you only use one, you can see I can pry mm, open this yeah. case, put my hand in there, I could steal the item. We don't want anybody to do that. So use both of the available lock spaces once again, a non-TSA approved lock. And once you have that locked up, what you're going to do is you are going to take it and place it in your check baggage. Now, when you get to the airport, head straight to the ticket counter. You're going to declare to the airline that you are traveling with a firearm. They're going to ask you if it's unloaded. You're going to respond that yes, you've packed it properly and it's unloaded. And then they will go ahead and, and have that be part of their check baggage. It's going to travel in the belly of the aircraft and you can pick it up at your destination. Do they need to open it up and see it and uh, verify or anything like that? So they will not. TSA may do additional screening. Sometimes you'll be present for that. Other times that screening will take place outside of your presence. Okay. If there is an anomaly, anything wrong with the way you packaged it, you as a traveler will be paged back to go ahead and open that case so that we can take that additional look at it. But if you have unloaded that firearm, if you've packed it properly, it should be final to go through the system. Now, something that people need to remember is that people travel with firearms all the time. When you come to the ticket counter, the ticket agent will not be surprised with the fact that you have a firearm in your bag. They're just gonna ask you to sign that declaration that you've packed it properly so that you can be on your way. But what we're most concerned about at TSA is these items don't come to the security checkpoint and carry on luggage. Right, and then the situation that would occur if you happen to potentially forget and say your bag, you instead of checking it in, you went to the security checkpoint, what's gonna happen there? So when our TSA officers see the image of the uh, firearm on the x-ray, they immediately stop all screening. So that's not great for the efficiency of the operation. Right. They notify airport law enforcement who responds to the checkpoint. They're going to remove the firearm from the x-ray tunnel. They're also going to take the passenger out of the security checkpoint. Uh, that is, becomes a law enforcement matter. Mm -hmm. And what happens to the passenger is up to law enforcement. But TSA will take that information and they will love a, a civil penalty against that traveler. Right. Civil penalties start in a range of $250, but they go up to $10,000 per incident. Every firearm incident is reviewed on a case by case basis. We're looking for some uh, factors that maybe would increase the fine. Also, we're looking to see if people are a repeat offender. So it's an expensive mistake, it's an inconvenient mistake. You may find that you're gonna miss your flight. It's really not a great way to start your trip. Right, exactly. Well, we appreciate all that information. Again, Gun Awareness Safety Week here. It's a big situation for all of us here at SEA. TSA, Lori, thank you very much thank for your you. time. Thanks for joining us and checking in at SEA. Stay tuned and join us for more videos on our channel.